Ms. Blair, talking about uh, human rights and the right to higher education, what kind of role do you think uh, that, mm, they play in order to fight against uh, fundamentalism and terrorism? Well, personally, I think that educated women, women have an investment in, in the future. And the more we in educate women, the more, less likely we are to see extremism in any form, because extremism often comes from ignorance. And if you educate a young woman, you don't only educate her, but you educate the next generation. So it's a really important part of ensuring progress in the world. But, you know, women's education is a really important issue. I come as someone who was the first person in my family to actually go to university. Uh, before me, my mother and my grandmother, both intelligent women, had left school at the age of 14 and never had the chance to uh, have their horizons broaden in the way that I had my horizons broaden. And that's now not the position in my country or here in Italy or across Europe. Now girls, in fact, are going into higher education more than boys. But across the world, it's still a huge, huge problem. And certainly in the Far East in particular, um, the number of girls getting educated beyond primary education, and in some countries, the number of girls who are not even getting primary education is still far too high. Between poverty and ignorance, or a difficult uh, cultural back background, uh, which one do you think is the main obstacle to the access uh, in higher education? Well, I think obviously poverty and ignorance go together. It's because people are poor that they don't understand the importance of education. But unless they do understand the importance of education, then the rest of the world is very limited to them. So we know educated mothers are more likely to send their own children to school. They're more likely to give their children immunizations. They're more likely to have fewer children and therefore be able to devote more resources to the children they have all of these things help people break out of the cycle of poverty. Do you think the academic degree is uh, still something that opened the doors to the uh, market of the um, work or for instance to social acknowledgement because uh, Italian students are getting a bit skeptical on that? Well education in itself is a right and the ability to, to grow your mind, to explore the horizons of the world is something which is a really precious gift. So education isn't only about employment, but actually, if we want to compete in the 21st century here in Europe, our greatest asset are our people. And the more we have people who are educated with inquiring minds, with flexibility, who are able to adjust and make changes, who are able to understand the issues in the world, the better we are going to be as a continent to uh, compete in a world which is increasingly going to be dominated by countries much bigger than the whole of Europe put together. Today we will hear a couple of stories of uh, students coming from Asia. Do you think they will have to fight keep on fighting after their degree. I think that this is just the start. We, we will hear how some of the girls have had to fight even to get as far as the university. Um, and now the aim of the university is to build up their confidence, their self-esteem, give them their voice. And that is really important. But I'm also very conscious that one person as a lone voice cannot change a society. And they're going to need all their strength and their intelligence and our help to continue after their education to build a better world. Do you want to leave a message to our uh, um, women that work here in our university study or doing research? Well, I think that we want to make the 21st century a century when women finally do get the equality that they deserve and that the world needs them to have with the men. And I know just this last weekend, there was a massive rally of women here in Italy. And I feel that as long as we get to the position where women aren't held with mutual dignity and with mutual respect anywhere in the world, whether in Europe or in the wider world, then none of us women are actually fully equal. And therefore, we all have an interest in making sure that all of us, men and women, come together with respect and with equal dignity.